So there are plenty of materials uh, around the world. Um, we've got lots of different reserves, uh, resources in different countries. Uh, the issue is access to those and the cost of getting access to those. Um, so there's the politics around which countries uh, own them and, and the sort of security implications of exploiting those resources over the next uh, few decades. So there's probably, there's probably plenty of stuff. It's, it's the cost, the price of them, who manages them and how do we manage that uh, in the future. If you look at fossil fuels, uh, actually what's probably going to happen is a, a technology revolution before we run out of fossil fuels. So the cost of extraction um, for fossil fuels does mean that renewable technology then gets an increased amount of investment and then the cost of those comes down much more rapidly. So the transition is much, uh, much quicker than we ever thought it could be. Energy generation, we're always going to need energy in the future. So the amount of resources we need for particular technologies um, is going to be huge. However, we do have quite a lot of reserves um, for particular technologies. And I suppose the next revolution that we'd anticipate, which isn't there yet, is recycling. So being able to re-extract the type of resources and materials that we're getting uh, and we're using and we need today. When that happens, when that becomes the economic thing to do, we don't know how that's going to work and exactly the type of economics and supply chains we need around that. It's very uncertain. Um, so are we going to run out of stuff? I mean, we, we do a lot of work around limits to growth and, and the resources. So we would say, yes, there are huge bottlenecks coming up. Um, there are probably not technical solutions, but more governance solutions that need to be thought about. And pricing will play a role, but actually we need to be much more active in thinking about when those types of transitions are going to be needed and how we bring them about proactively rather than just leaving it to the market or leaving it until we suddenly get uh, price spikes of 10 times, which means that some people will be left out while others won't be.